Welcome back everyone. This is part 2 of the chapter Open Economy Macroeconomics Basic Concepts. The book is Brief Principles of Macroeconomics 5th edition by N. Gregory Menke. In this part we will discuss why net exports and net capital outflow are equal. We have already seen that an open economy interacts with the rest of the world in two ways. In world markets for goods and services, that's one way. The second way is in world financial markets. So these are the two ways how a, uh, an open economy interacts with the rest of the world. World markets for goods and services and world financial markets. Net exports and net capital outflow each measure a type of imbalance in these markets. Net exports measure an imbalance between a country's exports and its imports. Net capital outflow on the other hand measures an imbalance between a amount of foreign assets bought by domestic residents and the amount of domestic assets bought by foreigners. Uh, this means that net exports nx is equal to x means exports minus imports so x means exports and m means imports so in this case if exports are greater than imports if exports are greater than imports there is a surplus and if exports are less than imports there is a trade deficit but in both the both of these cases either it's this one or this one there is an imbalance between countries exports and imports right so net exports show that similarly net capital outflow it shows an imbalance between the amount of foreign assets bought by domestic residents and domestic assets bought by foreigners that's the imbalance that is shown by net capital outflow therefore I hope it's clear uh, what kind of an imbalance net exports show and what kind of an imbalance net capital outflow shows. Now we move on to the important part. An important but subtle fact of accounting states that for an economy as a whole, net capital outflow must always equal net exports. That is a subtle fact. NCO is equal to NX. Net capital outflows are always equal to net exports. This equation holds because every transaction that affects one side of this equation affects the other side by exactly the same amount. This equation is an identity, of course, an equation that must hold because of the way the variables in the equation are defined and measured. Hence, NCO is always equal to NX. Uh, in the next slide, we will show uh, with an example why these two are always equal, but that is an, uh, an uh, important concept that you need to understand for uh, in this chapter. In an open economy, your net exports are always equal to net capital outflows. To understand this concept, let's discuss an example. Imagine that you are, you are a computer programmer residing in US. There you are. One day, you write some software and sell it to a Japanese consumer for 10,000 yen. That's the Japanese currency. There is the software and you are selling it to a Japanese consumer for 10,000 yen. The sale of software is an export of United States. So it increases US net exports. All right. So uh, because you uh, are a computer programmer in US and you are selling a software to a Japanese consumer, uh, therefore, uh, this will be considered as an export for US and an import for Japan. So what else happens to ensure that this identity holds? Uh, I hope you understand that here when you sell this computer program uh, to uh, to Japanese consumer uh, for 10,000 yen. So the, the net exports increase. There is an 
increase of net exports uh, for US equal to the amount of 10,000 yen when you convert it in US dollars. So, I mean the net exports have increased but we have an identity which says that NX is equal to net capital outflows. It means that net capital outflows must also increase by the same amount, right? That's what the identity tells us. So uh, we will see what happens. The answer depends on what you do with the 10,000 yen you are paid. All right. So ultimately, we will reach uh, this conclusion of NX is equal to NCO. But there are two options that you can do once you have 10,000 yen in your pocket. What you can do with that those 10,000 yens, that's the first one is first let's suppose that you simply stuff the yen in your mattress <laughs> there there it is uh, a lot of money right so you simply put yen in uh, under your mattress in this case you are using some of your income to invest in the Japanese economy that is a domestic resident you has acquired a foreign asset the Japanese currency the increase in US net exports is matched by an, by an increase in the US net capital outflow. What's happening here is that uh, when you put those yen in your mattress, I mean under your mattress, so of course the bed goes up. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. That's not what happens. Uh, of course that happens, but that's not important. Anyway, so uh, what actually happens in economic terms is that you are acquiring a foreign asset that is the Japanese currency you are owning that currency right you are holding that foreign asset so what is happening is that uh, the this will increase US net capital outflow the net capital outflow will increase because uh, you as a US national you are holding a foreign asset so this will increase increase the US net capital outflow therefore NX will be matched an increase of NX is equal to an increase of NCO by the same amount. That's the first scenario that you can do with uh, the yen that you've got. The second scenario is more realistically, you would use the 10,000 yen to buy stock in a Japanese corporation or you might buy a Japanese government bond. If you do that, you're converting the 10,000 yen into stock or a bond unit, right? So there will be a same result. A domestic resident ends up acquiring a foreign asset. Either it's the foreign Japanese currency or either it's a bond or, uh, or a stock. The effect is same because it's an asset. And when you hold a foreign asset, the net capital outflow will also increase. Therefore, the increase in US net capital outflow, the purchase of the Japanese, Japanese stock or bond, exactly equals the increase in US net exports that is the sale of software hence net exports will always equal NCO this is just one of the examples that we've discussed uh, even if you think of another example you will reach the same uh, conclusion because when you are exporting something you're getting the money right and uh, what you will do with that money either you will uh, you will never use it and put it in a safe or wherever you feel safe in that case you're you are uh, holding a foreign asset right that is the Japanese currency and uh, what else you can do is use that asset to purchase stocks or bond or something else uh, in even in that case the net capital outflows will increase so in both of these cases net capital outflows will increase therefore net exports will always be equal to net capital outflows this is an important identity for you to understand if you still have any question on this just put the, uh, put it down in the comment section and i will definitely answer thank you for being here i'll see you in the next part goodbye